Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. So good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time here today with me. I'm sitting in my backyard. It's Wednesday morning. It's pretty cloudy outside, um, which is interesting. It hasn't been uh, so cloudy like this in a while here in San Diego, California. But it's been nice um, to have a little bit of that cooler weather, you know, once in a while. And today I'm gonna be decorating the weekly spread for my reading journal. This is a Happy Planner horizontal style planner and it's actually in the Welcome to the Book Club style. So this is the planner these pages are from. I only have one month at a time in this mega happy planner. I just have the month of September now in here. But um, I really love this planner because I use this planner as my reading journal and it just is so perfect for that purpose because it's bookish themes. It has these books, cute books on the cover. All the dividers are very cozy. Um, you know, all of the elements in this planner are very, very bookish themed. It is so, so stinking cute and I've been having just a great time in this uh, reading journal. I've been really enjoying it. So we're gonna decorate um, the month of September, the first week in the month of September today. And I have a couple of stickers. I have some scrapbook paper. So if you're interested in checking out what I do here, let's just stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is pull for this uh, scrapbook paper pad. I just picked this up at Joann's. It's been on my wish list for a while now because I really enjoy this vintage style paper. I thought it would be perfect for my reading journal. And so um, I was eyeing this paper pad for a while and I finally ended up picking it up with a 50% off coupon, which really brought the price down because these paper pads can be pretty pricey. So I just have here a sheet of this vintage style paper and I'm going to rip um, rip up the scrapbook paper and just kind of place it around the page and uh, give it that kind of old-timey bookish feel um, perfect for a reading journal so let's get into it And I'm gonna go ahead and white out the names of the days here just because I don't tend to really need them and I find them to get in the way more than the help me out. So uh, I tend to white them out nowadays. I also have this super cute bookish washi that I got in a Japanese store in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles and I guess it's not necessarily like explicitly bookish but it has a bunch of cute little animals with books and notebooks and I thought that it kind of went well with this theme so let's put down some of this. I'm also going to pull for this Parcraft Smith Planners Anonymous sticker book, which is also bookish themed, and I just really enjoy these really cute stickers. Um, I've used it most of the stickers that were explicitly bookish themed in this little sticker book. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go get another one, but I have some left still. So this full box sticker that says every bo book is a new adventure is perfect. And then I'll grab one of these succulent stickers here and place that in the corner. And I always like to use stamps in my reading journal because there's something about that vintage style that I think really goes well with um, just reading journals, I guess. 
Not that reading is vintage, that's a scary thought, but perhaps there's something about like the, the physical book, the written word, that particular medium that has a timeless feeling to it. It really um, conjures up images of like old dusty books in huge libraries, um, but that's, that's just me. This ink pad did not really uh, give me good color. I'm gonna go ahead and get another ink and try again. This is the second time that um, I've had one of these larger ink pads and they haven't really worked out for me. They're just kind of dry. So I'm gonna grab this little Memento ink dewdrop and try this little guy instead. Okay, that was a little bit better, but not much, honestly. But that's okay, I don't mind it looking kind of faded and washed out. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that be. So I'm actually gonna pull for this intense stamp here. I actually have a good collection of stamps because I found a bunch of stamps in my local thrift store. They were selling just random bags of stamps and each bag was like $4 and each one had about 20 stamps in it, which was an insane good deal. And so I picked up a couple of those little bags. I haven't found any more in that thrift store. It seems like they had like a lot of stamps for some reason at one time. I ended up picking a bunch of stamps up and now I have a bunch of cool random stamps in my collection for crafting. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this one. Okay, it's still a little bit faded, but um, I guess it's kind of coming together. Let me try again. Okay, I guess it's a little bit better. So it's not perfect, but again, um, I don't mind it being a little bit imperfect, especially since I'm gonna be writing over the stamps. And so I guess um, it doesn't matter too much. And I think I'm gonna grab another stamp. This is an Emily Dickinson quote that says, hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings a tune without the words and never stops at all. And I think that's really cute. So I'm gonna take this black ink pad, ink it up and pop it down here on the spread. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab this quote stamp that says, a light, a compass, a beacon true, my life is richly blessed by you. And uh, kind of random of a quote, but I just like the look of stamped quotes, stamped words on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. And I'm gonna call it good. I like how it turned out. Love the vintage paper, the washi, the stamps, and I'm happy with it. Can't wait to get into this and journal about whatever it is I'm reading. Definitely let me know what you're reading in the comments down below. I would love to know what you're reading. Currently, I'm reading two books right now. One is a physical copy. This is Two Cheers for Anarchism by James C. Scott. It's just an overview of anarchist philosophy and um, different, uh, different examples of uh, anarchist tendencies, both political and social. Very, very interesting, kind of mind-blowing. In fact, I'm about halfway done with it. It's a short book, so I can't wait to get this finished. And I'm also... Uh, reading The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I'm listening to that one on Audible, so I do not have a physical copy with me. And that one has also been mind-blowing. It's beautifully written and um, rich in historical detail, almost too rich because it is very, very um, emotionally traumatic. So highly recommend both of those books. And I can't wait to finish that one up as well so I can move on to more books. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me uh, in this uh, plan with me in my reading journal. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.